The unsubscribe settings allows you to choose whether you want your subscribers to unsubscribe immediately after they click the unsubscribe button in your newsletter or whether you want them to go to the unsubscribe page and click unsubscribe or choose which group they want to unsubscribe from and they also have the option to resubscribe after they unsubscribe. Now that was a mouthful but let's get right into this. To customize the unsubscribe page, go to Account Settings over here and click Unsubscribe Settings. Here is what your subscribers will see after they click the unsubscribe link in your emails and you can edit it over here. And by default, you'll see two pages, the unsubscribe page that they will see and they can click Yes to unsubscribe from all the groups and then they will see the success page over here where they can choose the reason and then they can submit the reason if they like. Now let's go back to unsubscribe and starting from the top, let's look at the settings over here. Now these are the global settings, so they apply to every single page you might see over here, like the success page and the unsubscribe page. And you can have the design be full screen, narrow, or medium. You can change the spacing to regular or large, after clicking the unsubscribe button, they will be subscribed from every group, like I said, or you can choose for them to choose which group they want to unsubscribe from. Here are the groups we have. And if you don't want some of the groups to be here or to be seen by your subscribers, you can click the specific group and hide it from the recipients. Now, we will still see it here because we need to edit it, but your subscribers will not see this if they click the unsubscribe button. Now, of course, you can move these around. You can also use these little up and down arrows to move the groups up or down. And you can change the name of your groups so it's more meaningful. For example, you can change the name here, click Save. And even though the group doesn't change, the name over here changes. And of course, they can still unsubscribe from all the groups by using this link over here. Now I'm gonna go back to the default and recommendation. And now let's look at the rest of the settings here, the unsubscribe immediately. What this does is your subscribers won't see the screen where they can choose to unsubscribe or not. They will be taken right away to the success message here where it says you have successfully unsubscribed. Now this is a very good setting over here. It allows them to resubscribe. So just in case they did this by mistake or they rethought their decision and wanted to resubscribe, they can always do this from the screen here. And when you click that button, you also get the resubscribe page over here where you can also edit everything. Now, all the settings you see here are global. So if you change them in one place, for example, the design settings, let's go ahead and change the background to something darker they will be changed in on every one of these pages. And of course, you can change other things like the content color, the content background, the content heading to, to another color if we wish. And just click Save. Change the button colors over here if we wish, and other things like the hover states, etc. Click Save. And also, we have these additional settings that work with the medium and narrow design. And this just gives you an additional sidebar that you can put on the left, on the right, on top. You can have text or you can disable the text here. And you can also disable this bar from showing on mobile devices. And you can also change the design of this bar by going to design settings and clicking sidebar background where you can change the color or even add an image to the background. I'm gonna cancel this for now. Go to the additional settings and I will hide the sidebar. So these are the global settings, but what if you need to change one thing on one page but leave it the same on another? Well, you just need to use this little pencil here and you can edit the design elements for this specific part of your page. So for example, if I change the color here, back to black and click save it will turn to black but on these other pages it is still blue and of course you can do other things with these blocks like duplicate them delete them swap them around if you like drag and drop or use the little arrows to move them around and you can add new blocks 
by clicking blocks and just dragging and dropping these blocks over here. For example, this is the image block where you can add an image. I'm going to use this one over here. You can also link the image and align the image. I'm just going to click save. And of course, you can add different things like text, video, newsletter archive, social links, image and content, divider, and spacer. Now let me get rid of this text block and we are ready to go. Let's go to settings again, change the page to success. And one more thing I wanted to show you here, if you click the reasons for unsubscribing here, you can also display other reasons, which will add a little checkbox here, and you can fill in the reason here, or your subscribers can do that. Here you can also change the button text, the submit button text, and the title of this block over here. And that's pretty much it. Let's click save once we're done. If you don't like what you have created, you can of course go to the recent changes and undo anything you don't like. And you can also change the version. So I have many versions here I played with already. Now with the recent changes, you just click undo. And we're back to the start. In actions, you can also remove all the content blocks. I don't need to do that right now. And when you're done, just go ahead and click Save Template. And there we go. Everything is saved. We can now look at the unsubscribe stats. When people start giving reasons for unsubscribing, you will see the stats over here with the percentages and the numbers over here showing up. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Again, thank you for watching. If you need more help, contact us directly or join our academy and learn all the ins and outs of MailerLite. All the details are in the description. See you there and have a wonderful day.